So Jason, I'm gonna give you inspiration everywhere it comes. Just got out of the shower, so kind of wet with my shirt, but I gotta get the thoughts off my mind. <clears throat> so what I wanna talk about now is the friend zone. We can call it this one. And keep in mind that this book is gonna be about success. It's gonna be about different aspects of success. Meaning, um, we talked about the hour power, so that's one part of it. Now we're gonna talk about what I call the friend zone. And here it goes. So when I was in school, I was not what you call the popular guy. A lot of times I was considered the nerdy guy because a lot of the things I like to talk about were school, excelling at school, um, math problems, things of this nature. I was all about school. But you know in school it's all about being cool. You know, those college jocks who do, you know, who look good, get all the girls. You see, I went to the prom each time all by myself. Well, I take that back. The last time I went to the prom, myself and a friend went to the prom. And, you know, at that time, I didn't know any better. It, it felt kind of depressing. You know, it felt like, you know, no one uh, liked me, you know, even though I was kind of a comedian, but in my own way. You know, um, I was in the band, you know, I, I fit the profile of what you call somewhat of a geek, right? But if you look in life now, those same people who were in high school, who were the college jocks, who, who were the so-called popular ones, are bagging groceries, minimum wage jobs, you know, there's still those people who go out to clubs and they drink, they drink, everything's about the party, if you if you bring up even in today's time and it's time now if, if, if I was to even bring up anything that I'm remotely interested in as far as a topic of finance or anything like that I get shot down just like I was in high school it's almost like high school carries over into adult life right that's what it's basically like you know it's like you know it, it, it's, it's like um, <clears throat> you can't escape it right but then if you look at those people today they didn't amount to much, amount to much when they when they graduated from high school. Now they're not amounting to much in their daily lives, right? And 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 you know, for me, I don't drink, you know, now and things of that nature. And people always it becomes the topic of the conversation. Why don't you drink? It's it's almost like as people want you to become them. So what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is this. Let's just say that Dave Ramsey. And Donald Trump were your only friends that you had in life as of today. You wake up in the morning, you get your coffee, and you know that you want to meet David, I mean Dave Ramsey and Donald Trump today for lunch, for coffee. Got a couple questions for you. <clears throat> what are you going to wear? What are you going to study to try to even have a conversation with these guys? Because you can imagine your first couple of conversations... You probably won't, hmm, <laughs> you probably won't be able to keep up. You will find yourself behind a lot. But one or two things will happen. You are going to want to have your voice actually in that conversation. So you're going to find yourself like studying and, and listening to seminars and, and, and listening to M MSNBC News, MSNBC News, by the way. And, and trying to engage in a conversation with this. Because here's what happens. People don't understand that their environment, environment is key. Environment is key. You see, when I grew up as a kid, I didn't have a safety net. I had no one that I could call and say, hey, I'm having a problem with this. Can you help me? Because I was raised by my grandparents. Didn't know my father until I was age 27. Right. Versus all the other people who grew up with families and strong families and things like that. When 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 things went wrong, they could actually, you know, seek out help from family and things like that. I didn't have that luxury. But in a way, it's a blessing because I learned to handle my own problems. I learned that when a problem arises, I am the one that needs to fix it.
So when you, if you live in an environment where no one's productive, no one's trying to do anything, no one's trying to take it to the next level, a lot of the times you're going to look at it like that the same way. You're not going to try. You're going to learn to not take it to the next level. You're going to learn not to read books. You're going to learn that you, you will get to the point where it, all it is is about getting off work. And going to get the next beer, or going to get two first, or going into the happy hour, or whatever you want to call it. And it's all about that lifestyle. Now, getting back to Dave Ramsey and Donald Trump. If you spent six months every day, well, let's not say every day, Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, lunchtime, you would spend with Donald Trump and those guys, I guarantee you. You will listen to more different programs. You will read different books. You will change as a person. You wouldn't have time to hang around all those guys that try to just talk about everyone else. What, what everyone's drama is for that day. What everyone is doing. Such and such is pregnant. And all those things. This wouldn't be your lifestyle. If you want to be great, I challenge you to go to the affluent side of town. Sit down, have some coffee. If you know of someone who's a millionaire, invite that person to some coffee and spend some time with that person and ask them questions. Learn how their mind thinks. You know, I was I was told by my eighth grade geography teacher, and I never forget this. He said, if you see someone with money, ask them how they got it. Ask those people how they made it to the wealth. Because here's what I found out is that people would love to tell you about that because most people are intimidated. They don't want to ask the person because they feel they may offend them. You know, but these people really think about it. They don't have many people to talk to about that subject. So they're always interested in someone to approach them and say, hey, let's talk. Let's sit down and let's have a conversation about this. So I'm going to ask you today to start deleting your friends like you delete friends on Facebook. I want you to make a list of all the friends that you have. And I want you to make a, a list of all the negative ones. Right? Then I want you to make a list of all the ones that you may can keep that may be able to talk about this newfound journey that you're on. And if they don't fall in that category, let them all go. Because haven't you noticed that if you find a person who's a little bit overweight. Usually they hang around people that are a little overweight. You know, you, you, you'll see a little uh, overweight kid and you'll be walking and all of a sudden you look at the parents and they're overweight. And you wonder, how is it that that kid became overweight? I'll tell you how. It's because the family lifestyle is maybe eating junk food, drinking a lot of soda, you know, sitting around a TV, not much exercise, not, no one has a gym membership. It becomes the kid's environment. And in order for the kid to change, he has to break outside of that environment, break outside of the norm, and actually do something different. This is what it's all about, people. If you want to become better, not only do you have to do better, but you have to think better. Right? You have to think better. So my, my challenge to you today is to break away from the friend zone. There's a quote that a person will make three to five thousand dollars, right? As far as the annual income with their five closest friends. You rarely would find a millionaire, right? Hanging out with people who make thirty, forty thousand dollars. You know why? It isn't because they think they're better than the person or anything of that nature. It's because that person who became a millionaire probably became an expert in their craft. Probably doesn't spend their time going out and things like that. If they do spend time to have fun, and maybe it's with their family. But most of the time, they're probably working on their craft and becoming better. You know? So break away from the friend zone. Don't let high school spill into your adult life. If you find yourself in that dynamic of trying to be the popular kid all over again, it may be damaging to you. Because here's what I want to say about those kids that are, were awkward in high school. They were so-called geeks. Those kids become 
the fu- the future CEOs. They become the owner of Facebook. They become the owner of Google's of Google. They become the owner of Dell computers. They become the owner of Microsoft. The owner of Apple computers. Those same kids who wore the big glasses, the geeks, and were into different things are now the leaders of the world.